Greetings. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with ChatGPT. Everyone's talking about it. It's that AI writer that uh, people are using everywhere to, you know, move things along with their writing. Perfectly fine, perfectly legal, um, you know, get you started in case you have writer's block and or can kind of do a lot of the heavy lifting. Let's get started. So I'll show you what I did when I first started getting delving into this. So um, I actually went and I, I searched on Google. I said, okay, I want to know what this chat GPT thing is. So if you look, it actually is hosted at openai.com. So when you do go there, you're going to um, see that, hey, okay, chat GPT optimizing the angle. And then you can hit try um, chat GPT. So we're going to do that. Okay. Once you get there, uh, it's going to ask you to sign in. And this is just like any other website where it's like social media or whatever. You can sign in for free. You just have to hand over your email address. So if you've got a throwaway, you're like, I don't know about it. Fine. Use a throwaway email address. Use your business email address, whatever. But um, that's how you're going to go in. And when you're in, you basically are given your own dashboard. It will ask you some initial questions to saying, hey, what are you using this for? You know, just like also other sites where they'll say, hey, how can we best deliver to you what you want to get out of this? Um, now, notice on the interface here, uh, I've already been using ChatGPT a few times. It does save, it retains the things that you're asking it to do, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, I remember at one time I thought about, I'm like, well, I could write a whole job description of what I do for a living. But I thought, why don't I ask uh, ChatGPT to do it? Um, so I'll just type in what I did at that time. So it's like, uh, describe the job, wait, describe, see, I can type the job description, wait, the job duties of a senior marketing director of content. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter. Now you'll notice the AI is beginning to work and it is generating um, some text that is actually pretty robust. So this is all very familiar to me, uh, responsible for developing and implementing overall content strategy. Yes, um, it's, it's not lying. So it, it basically provided a paragraph. Now look, did you notice that as it did that, it generated a new chat? That is what you're doing. I'm basically chatting with an AI. So I could say now write it um, with a more witty tone. Okay. And check out what it's doing. Um, instead of like, you know, very formal in the first one, a senior marketing director of content is responsible for developing and implementing big words. Then we get into, I asked it to be a little bit more witty. As a senior marketing director of content, I'm the mastermind behind creating and curating all the awesome content that keeps our audiences engaged and coming back for more. So um, I just want to point out again, this is a dialogue that you are ha having with an AI machine that is pulling things from all over all the typed in words and text and copy of the internet. Okay. Um, and it's using this to provide you pretty educated, pretty informed, um, takes on stuff so that this is actually a somewhat compelling piece of text. Now, could I lift this off of here and simply go put it into something? Yes. Now I will tell you as a content creator and as a writer, I, I morally feel like I can't do that. Um, I think that G G chat GPT comes into perfect play as something to get me started. Um, you know, we all know the fear of the blank page when we need to like, oh, I need to like write something out of scratch. Um, if you're just looking for an idea or a sentence to get you started, or you want a pop culture reference, um, write me a pop culture reference. Let's see what I get here. Reference about um, marketing. Marketing is like being a DJ at a party. You gotta know what songs to play to keep the crowd hyped and when to change it up to keep things fresh. Just like a DJ needs to read the crowd, a marketer needs to understand their audience to create a killer campaign that will have them dancing all night long. Okay, uh, now do one based on superheroes. Being a marketer director is like being a superhero. We have the power to shape the perception of a brand and make it fly to new heights. So you get the, you get the idea. This is a dialogue. If you don't like what you get the first time, you can ask it to shift things around. Um, but again, I like using this as starter content. 
um, I am probably going to take stuff like this and be like, okay, let me adjust it. I will tell you too, um, as I've recently been laid off and I'm looking for a new job, oh my gosh, cover letters on this thing. I hate writing cover letters. This thing's perfect for that. I mean, you can literally say, write me a cover letter for a director of content role. Um, so feel free to use it. Of course, you can come back. If at any time you want to clear the conversations, again, these are all marked as different chats. I can hop to, you can see, I actually was asking it to write me cover letters for head of influencer marketing role, something I ever see. Uh, marketing leadership cover letter, a little bit different. Um, you can uh, change the names of these. You can trash them. You can clear them. Uh, obviously, you can go to dark mode if you like or light mode. Um, okay, now I just went to light mode. I like dark mode. I'm, on, I'm a dark mode person. But um, yes, feel free to use it as you want. Um, again, I just wouldn't feel guilty at all about using it for anything you're needing to write, even if you are a copywriter. Um, why the heck not? But what you do need to do, don't, you, you do need to make sure you are editing, reviewing, because especially as you get into things that are a little bit more technical or nuanced or possibly not as well known around the internet, you know, as, uh, you know, very specifics of things, it's going to get things wrong. It can't be perfect, but um, it certainly can get you off the ground and running if you're wanting to just write something. So again, I'd say use it. I have no moral qualms about using it. I think it could be a big help. Um, everybody concerned about AI taking over everything. Eh. Um, I still always think back to that Twitter account that I can't remember who created it, but within 24 hours, it turned completely racist because it was literally just basing itself on people replying to its tweets. Um, gross. But uh, that's why you do. You just always have to have an eye on this. But I hope this was helpful. Again, once you signed in, you can just go right back to it, chat.openai.com. Uh, keep the conversation going with that AI and use it for what you want to. Hope this video is helpful. Please feel free to subscribe. Uh, and, you know, there's going to be playlists here regarding social business and things like that that might be helpful to you. And do leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And uh, maybe tell me some of the prompts you're using for some of your own AI writing projects. All right, enjoy ChatGPT, enjoy this channel, and I will see y'all soon. Bye.